Hi, it's Dougie Burr from Doug Burt's Tackle World on the Gold Coast. I'm just going to show you how to snell uh, two hooks together with, with wire and how to actually, rather than crimp it or, or twist it and tie it, we're just going to snell it onto the hook. So first thing we go from the top, don't ever go from the back, go from the top. This is the way I do it anyhow. So from the top, pull it down, give yourself a fair bit of slack so you can see that's around about probably 25 centimetres long, roughly speaking. Um, and I grab it at this point right here, there, and then I pass this one under, and I go over the top, around about uh, five times or six times. Like so. And now I just reverse my hand so I can see that loop there. And then I push that through there. And then pull on it really tight. Go the pliers if you want to get a bit of extra pull. Tighten it up. Then slide that up to the end, like so. See that? And then grab this one here and do exactly the same to the bottom hook. Now I want to leave a gap of about that size on my bait. Okay, so this is roughly where we're going to get that size of the bait. We're going to uh, wrap it, it's going to be around about this distance here. So again, Fingers on the right, sorry. Remember that knot's gonna slide from there up to here, which is gonna make that, that, that much longer. So that's where you start. Again, round, round. One, two, three, four, five, seven more. Six, reverse it around like I showed you. Go through the little loop there. Pull it out. Get your pliers. Grab that part of it. Lock it all in tight. Slide that up to the end here. Like so. So that's the, the finished product. You can shorten that up a little bit more if, if you wanted to when you're making it, but for now that, that's fine. So that's going to go on the pilcher, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Cut that off. Just leave a little tag left on this part of it. Cut it off at about, about six mil. Uh, and seriously, that's really strong. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, before we put the bait on though, I'm going to show you how to join this. So rather than use a swivel, um, I just do an all bright. Okay. Oops. So I turn that around. So I'm looping this up like we do a normal loop uh, or right knot at about that length. And I'm going to grab my bit of fluorocarbon leader here, which is around about 30 pounds. Thread that through the hole there at about similar length, a bit longer than, than that one. Like so. But clasp that in there like that. Okay. Two bits of wire. I'm holding this side here and let, not letting go of that at all. And then I'm going to wrap the line around and round, round, round. Why you don't need to go back up because it just gets too chunky. Like so. A little bit of spit on there normally. Uh, and slide that up to the end. So to pull it up tight, just grab your pliers again. Just pull that one there tight. Pull the main line tight. Of course you've got plastic coating on the wire, it's 
very, very difficult to get it to pull up any tighter, but I, trust me, it does not come undone. That knot does not come undone. So, just like a little all bright, but um, looks not the cleanest, but works. Now trim off this end as close as you can get it to your line. And this one here, just leave a little tag on it. That's all. So the rig will look something like this. So that's your your leader to your wire. Okay. Can see that? Come along. Oops, I just took myself in the hand. Ouch. <laughs> and that's your two snelled hooks. Now I use Shinto hooks. Um, these are really sharp hooks. They're Japanese wire. Um, they're just extremely good hooks, extremely sharp and a great product from Tackle World. Um, I use 2 or 3-0 size. Um, they come in a packet like so, and uh, they're just a great hook. Uh, in wire, I'm using 20 or 30 pound nylon coated, make sure it's not too stiff. Uh, and in the leader, I use anything around 30 pound fluorocarbon stop tooth, which is another Tackle World product. And that's a great, well, well improved and uh, great fluorocarbon leader. If you do decide to use non-coated wire, it's extremely hard to get it to pull up because it grips and it doesn't lock in, if that makes sense. So when you get plastic coated, it locks in a lot better on the on the hook. But if you try and lock in non-coated, it looks a bit like that, if you can see the difference in the two hooks there. Sorry, I'll just um, show you those two like this. So, you can see the difference in those two hooks there. The, the knot's a lot cleaner on the um, plastic coated one and not so clean on this one here. So yeah, stick with plastic coated wire in the 20 pound or 30 pound range. 40s get a bit thick. Um, if you're gonna go over 40 pound um, or 30 pound, I tend to use single strand around 58 pound wire. I find that's big enough for Spanish mackerel, although a wahoo will bite through it, and so a big Spanish as well, but you'll get a lot more bites on it than you will on, say, 60 or 90 pound plastic coat of wire and, um, and crimping it. Okay, so put the, put the bait on. We grab our pilchard, and we're going to just cut it in half, whichever angle you want to put him on, doesn't matter. Grab the two hook rig here. I like to use the tail section, that's just me. You can use whatever you want to use. You can simply just insert the hook like so, like that, and then run your um, last hook up close here like so, or you can go the other way in that way. Um, you can use a product called Baitmate um, and wrap the line, wrap it over the top of the wire, then that way, and then back down that way. It's a product that looks like this, so it's just like an elastic type product. And uh, yeah, it just goes around like so. I'll show you, I hope I go doing this, it's not the cob on the end, but see we go. So just round. It's difficult with this uh, phone device here. Just give it a good pull, and it will. Cut it and leave it on there. Anyhow, believe it or not, that does stay as that. Looks a bit dodgy, that little bit there though. But that just wraps around it, looks like so, and it works fine. Again, in the water, they don't really see this stuff here at all. And if it does, a little bit of a gut hanging out, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it works fine. So that's extremely hard for the fish to pull off. You know, I'm pulling really hard on that, it won't, it won't come out. Um, it's, it's quite hard, so hardy. When you put on the uh, head part, simply again, let's get rid of this bait, mate. Sorry folks, I won't take a sec. I find the tail part for some reason tends to get more bites than the head part. You put out one of each, 
I bet you the tail part gets bitten more than the head part. I don't know what it is. It bites are probably about two to one. There we go, thank you. So the head part, same deal again. If you want to, you can pass the hook right through the flesh. Pull it out, dig it in here. Always try and dig it in, so many snapper fishing, try and dig it in about the length of the shank. To the to we went in the hole. And this one here, you can just go straight up through here and out through the top. Like so. And that's the rig. Like so. So if you can see that, nice and straight, presented nice and straight, shouldn't twist too much in the current, and uh, and that'll really get the fish as well. Yeah, so um, anyhow, that's how you do it. Give it a go. But the most important part is learning how to snell those hooks on. Thank you. Good luck out there. Bye.